while Guangzhou is a foodie's paradise. Chaoshan provide the inspiration. Chaoshan cuisine, whether it's a dish or dessert, consists of an endless variety of materials and undergoes wonderful preparation. Since it was made a treaty port, the locals enjoy their lives because of their fascinating food. Wu Pingyuan is called Brother Ping by some, but he likes to call himself a dim sum maker. He is good at all kinds of dishes, both meat and vegetarian, and sauces. His house special is dessert. As it is a rare chance for friends to get together, he wants to treat them to tangerine peel with red bean paste. A good taste is the result of high quality ingredients. For decades, Brother Ping has been serious about his selection of ingredients. Although Brother Ping is retired, he still really enjoys dessert making in his leisure time. At the end of the tea, the tangerine red bean paste finally appears. Brother Ping's desserts always brings his friends a different taste experience every time. The arcade houses in Shantou attract serious connoisseurs. The century-old tofu pudding and the five fruit soup elevate the ambiance of the city. As the mid-autumn festival is just around the corner, tea cakes are a must for the locals. To make them, one has to prepare the red bean paste filling first. After the plump red beans are washed and soaked for an hour, they're ready for cooking. He pours the oil and sugar in the proper ratio and mixes them up. The technique for making bean paste filling is very different from the red bean paste for the tangerine peel. The former is complex, time consuming and laborious. He is a traditionalist, but also a master of modern tools. Only after four or five hours of stirring will the filling reach its proper texture. The newly prepared red bean paste needs to be put aside for a week before it can be used as a filling. Wu Chao Island is home to many food factories and the people who work in them. It is also where Brother Ping grew up. Since childhood, Brother Ping has been a food fanatic. Although he has never studied with any particular mentor on the island, he has learned from many different masters. At first, he worked as an apprentice at restaurants, preparing marinated geese, bean curd, and beef balls. But he could only afford basic staples. 
In his eyes, desserts were a distant dream. In those years, he could barely make ends meet. His life was dull. In these years of frugality, he had little access to desserts unless during festivals. Dessert was his dream food. The economic boom has made desserts easily available. And Brother Ping began to make his own favorite treats. After a week, the sugar, oil, and red beans have fully integrated. It's not too soft or too hard. The filling is in the perfect state. His desserts are famous for quality ingredients. His tea cakes are no exception. In addition to the red bean paste, he also involves candied wax gourd, meat jelly, sesame seeds, and scallions in his crystal filling. He wants to coax deep flavors from his double filling tea cake. As he knows the cakes are for the festival, Brother Ping works especially hard. He hopes that his clientele will taste the quality of the ingredients and enjoy his cakes. This When the tea cakes are put into the oven, it means the job is almost done. Each of the two sides will be baked for 10 minutes. During the interval, he has to poke holes in them to let the steam out. He is serious with his ingredients, his desserts, and his life. Whatever he does, he spares no effort. He has befriended many people due to his profession. His life is now full of enjoyment. Friends often gather and chat over tea. His red bean paste filling and crystal filling tea cakes are a huge hit at the tasting event. And that makes him very happy. Now that he is living the good life, he wants more people to enjoy his creations. Brother Ping is enjoying a higher quality of life. He's always surrounded by friends, and he's enjoying himself more than ever. He has moved out of his shabby house he once lived in, and his vision has expanded. His new experiences are his source of inspiration.
，就是吃它的原汁原味，不要下太多人工的痕迹在里边。Now at the age of retirement, Brother Ping still has a burning passion for sweets. He had no candies in his childhood, but now he makes an array of desserts for others. Desserts have brought on rapid changes in his life, and have afforded him with a wealth of experience. <laughs>